Hello everyone, this is Ace of Plague here, and I am back at part 7 of Resident Evil. It's noticing that just taking this in hour increments is making the game a whole lot longer. Uh, 7 hours in, and I... Not even that, I'm on, yeah, 7 parts as of now, and I haven't even got to the big chunk of the game. I assume this is 30 hours. It seems, or longer than that, but it's going quite slow. Come on. I was hoping he would spread out. I just lost all my health because I hit her. I hit her and I died. What the fuck? Who programmed that? If you hit them while they have a fire thing, it instantly drops on you and it does almost all your health in a second. Who the fuck programmed that? Oh, I'm gonna right about the weather. I'm just gonna big dick it because quite literally for some untoose reason, actually it's just the most. I fucking hate the fact that you can't just let her sit and do nothing. That's whatever. tired of these goddamn one-shot mechanics that I can't avoid because I'm pressing a button to avoid it and it says no. You can't give me a fucking command and then just ignore the command when I press it. Why the fuck cannot games register inputs? It's like impossible for them. Don't give me an input that's going to be to evade something if you're not just going to let me evade it. I press the circle button to evade, and it just sits there and does fucking nothing. Like, what the fuck are you doing, Leon? Never had these problems in the original. Work ethic has gone down in the years. Jesus fucking Christ. Also, I don't understand why this... Yep, the one shot thick I can't fucking avoid because some faggot decided he's just gonna. 
hit run up and hit me. Not my fucking fault. I'm sorry, but um, if, you know, if you just want me to play the game, then let me play the game. I can't fucking do something like you know, do a move. If you don't want me to, it doesn't help that actually is being so useless. She is worse here than the original. I swear to fucking god. This Ashley is like getting in the fucking way. I have to worry about her not running away from enemies after being confused why they're doing what they're doing. I wish I could just attach knives to all of them, but I can understand why I don't. What the fuck was that for? What the fuck? I'm gonna kill your ass. Come here. Okay. Run. I don't. I'm not gonna really redo this 50 fucking times. Explain to me what part of that was my fucking fault. Because some bum bimbo ass slut just wants to run around in a fucking circle. Stay right next to the enemies. This game is going to be an absolute torture bitch fest. Because of this fucking skink doesn't know what to do. It's not even the fact that she can't fight. I don't give a shit. Run. But don't run towards a fucking enemy. They somehow made Ashley... Ten times more annoying. And ten times more bullshit. I'd rather have a fucking health thing out at the manage because she can at least survive two hits. And actually, you know, didn't just run into the enemies. Or just wonder why they're she's getting attacked. Some fucking God it's so stupid. I'm dying to some bullshit ass character that I can't control. It's either she stays close or closer. It's like, really? Is that what we're fucking doing now? Oh, I should just use that. That is called luck of the draw. Alright. I don't even mind the mind to really do anything for me. I have to have her stay loose, because it's the only thing I think that will even work. a little bit. Oh no, I'm 
Okay. I deserve iframes on that. I deserve iframes. Follow me, follow me, you dim limbo, follow me. You gonna take damage? Next. Jesus fuck. Fucking Ashley, like yeah, fuck that cow. The block on Merita go muy bueno. How far back can I actually go? Or at least how far back will the game let me go? Just curious. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking hate Ashley. I hate her in the original game and god I hate her even more now. Alright. Come on. Okay. She's a better character, but god, her AI is cancer. I need you to open it from the other side. To be fair, I could have done that, but realistically I could have just went through that hole myself, but if I can do it, I'm pretty sure six foot two Leon S. Kennedy could do it. So he's too heavy, bro. He's strong enough to lift himself. I'm pretty sure he knows how to pull himself up. Otherwise, that would be a very big gap failure on his system. Now let's back it out. Open. What are you whining about? You ain't even doing it. You just gotta run. That's weird. I was able to do that. Okay. What are these silent weapons? Uh, I assume it would be silent. gunpowder yeah which is a way to make her hide but you know to see it is what it is oh my god this can't be happening true typical Move back, move back, move back. Ashley, 
She died to a fucking pig. What's up with these goddamn demon pigs? Why the fuck is a wildlife attacking me? You're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm getting fucking railed by a goddamn cow. You don't understand. I'm about to fucking break up. Fuck the goddamn Ooh, that fucking cow. I'm really getting fucking tired of the wildlife just attacking me for the sake of attacking me. It was fine. I don't really care. How I got set on fire and fucking rain is beyond me. These dudes never play Pokemon. I saw she dodged a decent amount of bullets. Dude, why the fuck was the entire bit of wildlife coming after me, bro? Cows, boars, all of them. You know what? No. Fuck you too. Yeah, die, you little piece of shit. Another worthless animal. Dead and out for the count. I just saved the world. Benefited it. The world is now a better place with that dumbass pig gun. Gone and dead. What is... Dude, I keep getting these goddamn... Okay. What's the point of combining three green herbs if it's going to heal you to full, regardless of the situation? This is how. An antique pipe? Didn't even change the design. The fact that it doesn't give you the actual two bullets is beyond me. I just realized there's going to be a big giant animal here. Give me some space. Senorita. Senorita has a name and it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Very good questions, unfortunately. Uh, Hi. Now. I love how they just walk through it. Case. Here. Help me. Ashley, quick. Over here. Any question to that? Bitch, just get in that hole where you belong. Okay, it's game time. I'm about to be raging so hard soon. 
Oh my god, that first the other two. I pressed it. I heard the notification when it came out. Hell no, you're not doing that. Time to shine. Good job. Aren't you full of surprises? God damn it. I, I don't know. I thought maybe because it's an overhead I could neutral duck. I thought this was like Mortal Kombat or something. Uh, so, 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 so. I can make... How much do I have?
better, but now I know. back what if I can't evade him what if I can't evade him save let's go back here I'm gonna go back to the Dupadora Mendez house and do all that nonsense alright we're heading back apparently I missed the house which Oh, okay. And we're gonna go over there because I am making sure I get my my pay due. And apparently I missed the treasure, which I think I know where it is, but like, come on. Supposedly he's a, a beast here, but he's probably not going to give me anything worth it, honestly. What was the offer? Hmm. To eight spinals. Okay, that's not bad, but... I obviously didn't miss anything, though. Well, you know what, we all do, but, you know, I do too, well, but, you know, we don't always get... I don't have any ammo. cheered when they heard the boat as it raced across the surface of the water. The magnificent oil surely helped us catch fish easier than bef ever before. The ironworks was only built a year ago, but has already emerged well with the village. Our sickles and knives shine like never before. The two fish got from the deal will almost anything, will eat almost anything and are breeding well. The fish farm in the swamp is also making excellent progress. During the day I teach literacy and mathematics to the children. Every evening I dine with a single family to hear the grievances and recent gossip, all under the roof of this home we built. Since I opened the village to the outside, we have prospered and the people are happier. 
Smiles have been even started to appear on their faces. A strange group of black-robed people descended upon the village from the castle and raised an ominous flag with a spider-like sinia on it. After preaching about salvation and forgiveness, they injected us with something they claim will cure us of madness. Can they be trusted? Well, did you have madness? Simple answer, no. Watch over the village in my stead, and may the smiles always find you in photographs. Done a long way at Ironworks. Whoa. All right. Come on. Okay. The owner entrusted the village to me today. He told me I can return, learn my duties as I go. I'll start by keeping a record of the village. There are still many words I cannot write, but the elders encourages me. I'll do my best. There is a young boy who lives in the cabin by the lake with his grandfather. It seems that his mother is called to heaven upon his birth. His grandfather doesn't talk much, but the lad is very bright and spirited. He told me a story about a knight who rides a donkey again today. The boy's grandfather has fallen ill and his condition worsens every day. The boy worries terribly about him, and the murmurs of the madness among the villagers. As I took my leave, the old man pulled me aside and said, If anything happens, you know what to do. I could only nod in response. It was a terrible night. Everyone stood around the cabin and watched as it burned down to the ground. The boy looked on without saying a word. Even as dawn broke, he didn't move a muscle. The next day, he was gone. Antique camera. Navarro family. Savage mutt, you say? Spread out. Come on. No problem. Weird.
That was I was expecting. This does two five zero. What do you do? One two zero. Where the hell did the beast go? Super range. Yeah, I'm fine. Present for you. Uh. Give me space. Come on. Okay. Not a hundred percent sure how you put to block those attacks, but. Alexandrite. Well, um, I hurt? still get something. I'm good. Thanks. Now I need less ammo. That's fine. Tastes to be expected. Not much less, but still less. Where are you going? Okay, it's all right. Let's go. I mean, where am I going? You just need to catch up. I'm not running that fast. That looks like I'm running 3 meters per second. There's only 6 feet. In fact, you're only feels actually the fastest man ever is. Not the fastest man ever.
he's a truck. Why are you targeting me? I don't even know what to fucking hit you. I am about to kill every single person who made this. Why is a cow able to... No, no. Why is a cow able to just survive so much gunshots? No. I want an elaborate explanation. How much do I have? It ain't gonna be enough. Well, actually, technically... I forgot. Spread out! Okay! Specific needs. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> what you see is what I've got. Allen gunpowder. Try that on for size. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. I didn't buy the, the first day. I was about to say. Okay. Might want to take care of any leftover errand. What do you mean? Just before going this way, be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if. Jesus fucking Christ.
shut up, you'll be good to go. I got all the resources real quick. I'm going to stop it right here and just move on to the next part of part eight. Um, I hope you all had a great time. Uh, this is Ace Play signing off. I'm going to bring out my knife. It just sits there in a corner doing fucking all. I did not think I was this ill equipped for the game. I really did not think I was this ill equipped. Resources. I think I'm just going to tire around this way. I'm not going to put it in. I think it's going to put it in clips. Actually, we use my non existent kitchen bag. I had to like curve it into him. I definitely trust that that's fine.
I pressed it. I, I, I am paying attention. I saw him about to hit me, so I pressed all one, and I guess I just didn't care. I don't know why it breaks it pretty much instantly if they're about to grapple. I don't think that's really down. Tuberculosis. Is this the first time you've coughed on blood like this? Do you want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called a uh, plaga. Okay. You saw those people, right? But you have the same thing inside you. The same thing that made them like that. This, what you're experiencing, these symptoms. They're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh, yeah, the right equipment. 
Wait, you too? No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to trust me. Great, we're partners then. Hey, why are you... No time for any questions. The clock is ticking. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. We'll contact you later. Alright, I'm just going to add this to the previous part that I said this would be part 8, I think. I'm just going to add this to part 7 so that it doesn't, you know, to stir it up, but I'm going to relax and go to bed because I am baked out of my mind. I'm tired. Um, so, good night. This is um, Ace of Plague signing off.